It is the evening of August 12, 1942, and the South Dakota and her task force are on their way to rebel. Their Wildcat CAP is on their way back to roost to the Saratoga, and the Japanese have taken that opportunity to launch another airstrike against us. And so we are without air cover, and we're going to try to knock down these Japanese airplanes and sail on to our objective. And now we are on our way to Rebel, and we are going to knock it down. The level 1 airfield and a level 2 dock. South Dakota will be on her way back to truck to rearm. Task Force Lodgy just dropped off her supplies and troops at Kagyang and she was attacked by some Bettys on the way back out on her return trip to Midway. Tried to thread the needle with our C3, but unfortunately we were struck by a Type 93 torpedo amidships. And now truck driver was on her way to deliver troops and goods to Kavyang and was intercepted by some Don Ruse and Bettys. The Don Rouge attacked one of the C3s and narrowly missed. Luckily for us, I think they're carrying the largest bomb load that they can carry. On their way back to Midway, Task Force Lodgy came across a couple of cargo ships. USN Dewey launched some torpedoes successfully against a merchant ship. And they successfully sank both the merchant and the oil. Task Force South Dakota, with the help of Combat Air Patrol of the Wildcats, made it successfully to Rabal and destroyed the last remaining level of airfield there. They then traveled west to Lay and destroyed the airfield at that base as well. There are no longer any air assets in these Solomon Islands for the Imperial Japanese. 
I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Uh, once again, I apologize for the messed up audio and the short episodes, but we should be back to normal next week. If you did enjoy it, be sure and hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.